hey everyone welcome back to another video and i hope you like my videos and if you like then do subscribe and share this video so that more people can learn it my motto is that i i want to share my knowledge uh, through these videos you just see whatever i learned so just see this one find the two number whose sum is 27 you see the question is saying that there are two number adding both the number we got 27 and the product is 182 means when we whatever we number added like for example if we this one uh 20 whatever number we going to add this one i'm just writing it must be 27 i'm just writing this two number are there different number this should be 27 but if you multiply x into y it should be 182 okay so without wasting time let's start this one and i hope you're going to enjoy this one this thing okay so first of all i don't know the what the two number is okay i don't have any idea what about they are asking so i will say simply let first number be x you got this one we take a known term as a x i don't know so that's why i just take x and let second be what can it be means kya ho sakta hai jaise maine kaha ki dekho ye x hai jo ek number maine le liya dusra number kya hoga total number kitna 27 to 27 mein se agar ye minus x kar dunga to yahi number jo bhi second number hi to bachega because if i minus this number then the second number will be out of that one because 27 is the total number isn't it so 27 total hai to usse agar main ise minus kar dunga to jo bhi minus hoga wo ye number hoga yahan ka hai na so just see this one so i'm going to write b 27 minus x is it understandable ab dekho condition ke hisab se chalta hai let's see the condition uh, according to question i'm just writing in short according to question you see product is 182 isn't it so i'm going to multiply this and this so x i'm going to multiply 27 x equal to how much 182 so i'm going to write 182 now you see we're going to multiply x into this one 27 x okay and minus x into x x square can you understand this one do you find it any difficulties while solving this now let's see this one i'm going to take okay this negative sign is there we'll try to make it positive how to make it i'm just writing here let's suppose i'm sending this one this side okay x2 i'm sending this side so if i send this side then that will be positive isn't it in negative hai to udhar jaan se kya hoga positive okay and 27 that side 27 kitna hoga minus 2 27x aur yahan pe already 182 hai kuch bhi sign nahi hai 182 ab yahan pe kya bacha anything left here means nothing it's left zero so i'm going to write equal to zero dekho ye equal hai if you write a equal to b or b equal to a baat dono ek hi hai theek hai it's not the different thing so ye dono equal hai to maine is wale ko udhar likh diya aur yahan pe jo bhi bacha zero ho gaya to hame dekho ye kya mil gaya quadratic equation now you need to solve this quadratic equation and then you can get your answer ki do do number kya hai am i clear then let's see this one quadratic equation abhi jo maine sikha हमने सीखा अब इसे कैसे कर सकते हैं सेम वही तरीका कुछ भी अलग नहीं है हम क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन करते हैं यहां पे ठीक है साइड में करते हैं अब देखो हमारा क्वेश्चन कुछ इस तरह है 182 है है ना हमें चाहिए 27 27 3 से डिवाइड होता है सो विल डू वन थिंग वी गोइंग टू डिवाइड दिस वन विद द 3 सो 182 आई एम गोइंग टू राइट 1 3 से डिवाइड करते हैं 3 से डिवाइड करने से क्या होगा 182 इफ यू डिवाइड विद द 3 3 के टेबल में कितना आएगा 3 6 18 बट ओके सॉरी दिस इज नॉट डिविजिबल विद 3 बिकॉज़ 1 plus 2 इट्स नॉट डिविजिबल सो वी कैन डू वन थिंग वी कैन जस्ट डिवाइड विद द 2 सो so 182 ओके okay. इसका आधा क्या होगा 180 का आधा कितना होगा 90 90 का आधा और ये तो कितना हो जाएगा 91 1 into 2 2 ये हो गया 91 और 2 बट ये अभी भी नहीं है so what we can do हम क्या कर सकते हैं हम यहां पे क्या कर सकते हैं 
सोच के देखो 91 कौन से टेबल से डिविजिबल हो सकता है देखो ये तो टू से नहीं होगा थ्री से नहीं होगा फोर से भी नहीं होगा फाइव से भी नहीं होगा सिक्स से भी नहीं होगा क्या सेवन से हो सकता है इफ यू रिमेंबर थर्टीन सेवन जो नाइन्टी वन सो वी कैन से इफ यू डिवाइड नाइन्टी वन विथ सेवन यू गोइंट टू गेट थर्टीन ओके आई एम गोइंट टू राइट थर्टीन ओके एंड देन सॉरी दिस इज सेवन ओके सो सेवन को हम मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे इसे फोर्टीन ठीक है देखो हमें ये मिला अब ध्यान से देखो हमें चाहिए क्या ट्वेंटी सेवन फोर्टीन प्लस थर्टीन ट्वेंटी सेवन होता है कि नहीं होता है ना तो लेन सी देन सो हम गुन राइट एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस मैं यहाँ पे लिख देता हूँ फोर्टीन पहले बड़ा नंबर को मैंने लिख दिया आगे और थर्टीन ठीक है प्लस वन एटी टू क्या समझ में एक्स है यहाँ पे सॉरी नाउ वॉट वी गंट डू इज देन ओके लेट मी राइट इन बिग पेपर हम गुन राइट एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस You see, fourteen multiplying this is your fourteen x, okay? Plus thirteen into this one is your sorry, minus into this one is will be negative only. So thirteen x and plus one eighty two. Can you see this one? Is it tough? Let's take the common. Here only x is common, so I'm going to write x and then x and fourteen. And this is your minus because minus sign is there, and then here also it will be thirteen because ये आके ये ला x होना चाहिए देखो और यहाँ के same होना है ठीक so and minus fourteen if you multiply thirteen into fourteen you're going to get the same so you see x minus thirteen or x minus fourteen you see we got our this isn't it easy if you think this is tough then I don't know how to solve it's up to you if you have doubt then please ask me in the comment section so that again i will try to clear all the doubts so we got this one now so i can say either x minus 13 equal to 0 or mosquitoes are there x minus 14 equal to 0 okay this is the two things we can get so i can simply say x equal to 13 or Means x equal to fourteen. Is it tough? Can you see this one? X equal to fourteen. So what your question is asking? I don't have book where I kept book. Okay, wait. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Oh, see, there is the question. Find the sum whose this one. So what we take as a x and we take as a minus twenty seven x. Okay. Can you see this one? So I will say if X is equal to thirteen. We will get two number. Okay, one is thirteen and another is fourteen. We got two number. So if I say let's see X is the thirteen, then what will happen? Then you see twenty seven minus X. Okay, so minus X is the thirteen. We'll be getting fourteen. Okay. Or if we get X equal to fourteen, then Twenty-seven minus fourteen is equal to thirteen. Okay, so we can say, hence, hence, in both case, the number are thirteen and fourteen. Let's see this one. Do you think this is tough? If you think this is tough, then please comment down. I will try to make it more easier video. But if you know the basic mathematics, I'm sure you want to understand this one properly. You see, we are asked to find out the two. Um, we are two number whose sum is twenty-seven and product is one twenty-eight. So I suppose the x and I took as a let x be the this one twenty-seven minus x because whatever x will be the total number is twenty-seven. So if you minus this one, the remaining number will be the second number only because only two numbers are there. Okay. According to question already, it said the product is this one, so I multiply it. You see. And this one, you know, this is factorized. We know how to find out factorized. Even I gave you the trick also. And this one, we just factorizing this one. We got thirteen and fourteen. So two options are there. So I put because we take is x. Okay. So I suppose it's thirteen. Then we got fourteen. When I suppose fourteen, I got thirteen. So in both case, the number are thirteen or fourteen. So it means that if you add thirteen 
plus 14 you're going to get 27 and if you multiply this two you're going to get 182 okay i hope you like this video i know that this is a little bit longer like though for those those who are not able to understand properly this video is for them and if you understood then you can skip from the half and thank you so much for video watching uh thank you so much for watching this video and see you soon in the next video